to see you. I don't give a fuck what you do. As long as you keep doing what you're doing. Exactly. You know? That's just, just too right, uh, HB, HRAP Big. Yeah, you know, man. Let me tell you, you talk about, you talk about my name. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out where the H, where the H rap be. What, what's all right, all right. See, all right. Here it is, man. I the H rap B is hip hop. I love hip hop. I love rap, and my name is Brian. But okay. I always up was was on the pro black side, so people used to call me every once in a while. Man, you act like you H rap Brown, and that's where it all come together, man. Right, right. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. Now I now I got that understanding. Yeah. And um, uh, hey man, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this, uh. Hey, yeah. You remember a while back, I shot you a uh, message saying email me, right? Yeah, yeah. I knew you was a brother that you could come over here and do your thing, and I wanted you to be heard by a lot of other people. Man, I was coming to the show on Saturday, but there wasn't that many people in the chat room. Yeah, Am I right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when, when I when I told you to come on over this way, man. You know, it, it took a while for you to really get back to me, man. But then when I seen that you was over here X week, uh, X bar, and Mo Cheese when it got you, man, I was happy because I know you're a brother that can rap, you know, and uh, we can put some thoughts together here and there and call each other show and put some thoughts in. Yes. Thoughts that a lot of people don't know about. You know, man. I, I, I really ain't get started yet, man. But, you know, if I took time out and thought about, a lot of my shit come from the head, H. Me too, and me too. I, I write down that. some stuff, but a lot of my stuff right off the dome, man. Right. And if, if I really think about a lot of shit, man, from back in the day, and uh, I can bring that shit out here, man. There's a lot of shit a lot of people in here in this chat room and these other shows don't know about. They'll be amazed, bro. Man, we're going to have to link up, man. Realize, yeah, a lot of people didn't probably realize that I knew this cat Tim Thomas, man. I, it's a lot of cats I knew, man, coming up because I was in the sports. You know what happened? When I moved to Atlanta, Okay. my ex-wife said, you're not playing sports like you did up in Jersey wow. all year round. But I played ball every year, you know, uh, New Jersey Transit Bay Softball League. Okay. I played uh, corporate basketball at the uh, job I worked for. We played in corporate league, right? Okay. And, uh, and, and basketball... Uh, yeah, that was basketball, and then uh, football, we played this uh, flag football, man. And that was all year round. My, that's why my son, that's my intern, that's why that joke don't play ball, because he seen me do it all the time. You know, and he seen the work I had to put in to do it. So, you know, he, he didn't tell the hip-hop shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Even though it ain't that I don't like hip-hop, but it's, I, like I told him, it's more things in life than just, you know, following puppy and bad boy and this motherfucker, that motherfucker, like that. Get your own shit going. Right, you know, never right. Had to do that. Yeah, so, hey man, it's like this, bro. Hey man, God bless you, bro, for man. coming on here. And I, I got a brother I can I can holler at. And yes, I sir. Much, but Cam, Cam may be younger than us, but Cam know a lot of shit about yeah, what went on. Yeah, yeah, yes, he day. does. But yes, he does. Research. I mean, I yeah, enjoy this, man. man. Man, we, man, we gonna yeah. blow this whole situation up, man. We gonna blow this whole situation up, man. Cause well, I, I, I honestly believe this is exactly what people in our community need. Cause we don't, we don't do enough study of history. We go by what they say right. on the TV. Like I told Tim Thomas, they, they used to say, we ain't never seen nothing like this before. Six ten, dude. Yeah, you telling me I ain't seen Vin Baker. You telling me I ain't seen Tim Thomas. You telling me I ain't seen Derek yeah. Coleman. Get the hell out of here. Like yeah. a Big L even said, Mahmoud Abdul Raul. I ain't seen nobody with handles that can shoot. That's Steph Curry. And right. and he'll beat you off the dribble. He'll blow past you. Steph don't really want to blow past you. Don't have that skill. When well, he got the skill, he don't have the physical ability to blow past you. We seen all this before. And, and like the brother Joe from Houston. Hey man, Joe uh -huh. from Houston got a lot. Of, he, he he like thirty. He got a lot of knowledge too. And I be me and him be rapping all the time. And I be telling him, man, don't go for that. Oh, we we've never seen this before. I said because one thing, if you don't know your past, you you gonna be forced to repeat it. They are. We never seen oh, this yeah. before. We never. Yes, you have. Yes, you see. To me, Chief Rocker, they don't want you to know your past because. I heard I heard you say a couple of things that let me know that you are you are a super intelligent dude. Like when you call the white boys, when you be saying uh, 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 Gentiles, 
A lot of people don't catch on to that. I know where you're going with that, brother. Right, right. Yeah, right. man. So, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I see, I see L, right? I see Big L talking about she's about to um, use a newspaper on the show. <laughs> man, I'm talking to Big L. I stopped looking at newspapers uh, three years ago, man, because they cost too much. They want you to pay two dollars for a paper in Atlanta that's uh about an inch and a half thick. Right. Who the fuck wanna pay for that shit, man? And the only reason I get that is to see what the high school. I get deep into high school too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Age rap. I get deep into high school, man. So that's the only reason I got the paper for, man. But I was lazy. I was too lazy to go Google up shit and all that, man. You know, I'd rather go and see what this motherfucker Gentile was writing about these high school boys, right? So then I can go and watch them play and see what's going on. And then I can get my own version of it. You know? Exactly. That's like people say, people will say, oh, that movie sucks, or this movie that, or that. But I go to the movie, I see a whole different thing. Of it. Exactly. You know? Don't exactly. put out there, don't you put out there, oh, uh, I, I hated it. I give it a, a four or a three. Now, I'm going to say, movie he said that. I said, that motherfucker was the bomb, man. Exactly. So who you are, what you feel. Exactly. You know? And you know what would be tripping yeah. me out, man? When people go to these right. movies, I don't even think folks enjoy movies like they should. They always going, oh, man, did you see the last Chief Rocker movie? It wasn't good. It's the other Chief Rocker movie. Enjoy that movie for what you're watching right now. Damn what it was last year or part three and part four. Did you did you put, right. your, you put your money down at the show? Did you enjoy that movie? Yeah. It don't make a difference if it measure up to the last one. If you enjoyed this one, enjoy it. I think people ain't even take they don't take advantage of what they're doing now. It's always well. What about this? No, I'm enjoying this now, man. You know, right? Uh, definitely uh, that, man. You know, hey brother, I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish this show, man. Good show. Hey, I'm been listening to you since you came on. I'm not gonna be in the chat room that much, but you know, in the hacking and some other stuff. You know, I'm showing this young lady, uh, you know, about Esquad and the shows and my show. Yeah. And she was surprised with a lot of shit that's going on and that the podcast. And uh, she was talking about, oh, you, you got a good voice. I said, people say that, but I don't let that shit get to my head because, you know, I always was able to get on the mic and talk. You know what I'm saying? I used to MC at the age of 12 wow. back in Jersey, you know, just because I always liked the mic, but I never was a rapper or nothing like that. Or right, anything. right. I just like to talk to people. I always had to get the gas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's why when people always talk about our chief, like women be like, oh, Chief Rocky, he, he ain't doing nothing, he ain't doing that, he ain't doing that. I tell you what, baby, give me 15 minutes with you, I bet you I have you hypnotized. And with you, I'm <laughs> That's what's up, Chief Rocky, my man. Man, thanks for, man, thanks, man. Peace out. Thanks, man. Always good to have Chief Rocker Jersey Vine on the show. Much love. Ben, welcome to the show, man. Hey, man, don't make a difference if you're in for five minutes or five hours. Man, I, I, I man, I appreciate the support. Big here, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf played with Shaq in college, and Mahmoud Abdul Raouf was the best player on college teams. Facts. Big L bringing the pain. I'm scared of myself. I'm agreeing with Big L too much. It's getting real scary. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm gonna go, when I get off the show, I'm going to go pray, because if I'm agreeing with Big L this much, I'm going straight to hell. I'm just letting y'all know, man. I got to go pray. I ain't even, I don't even belong to no church or nothing, but I'm going to pray to somebody. Hey, Ben, you're a religious brother. Pray for your boy, man, because I'm agreeing with Big L. It's going down. I'm I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the, um, you remember when we was kids, the cartoon going up, going down. You get, you agree with Big L too much, you're going down. That's all I'm saying. Now, uh, let's talk about this all-star thing, man. Western All-Stars, but my, my main man, Steph Curry, the big homie, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and James, James Hart, and the big homie, PG-3, PG-13. I ain't got no problem with that, y'all. A lot of people talking about, what about Anthony Davis? What about him? He's an excellent player. He's dope. H. Rapper, seeing the truth, maybe? No, sir. Say something else so I can disagree with you, man. I'm getting scared. Uh, hey, man, I don't have no problem with it. No, no, you know what? Let me hit the... Back to James Harden, man. James Harden is Euro-stepping backward, y'all. Stop calling that traveling. It's not traveling. If it's okay for Manu Ginobili to take to hop and take two steps, it's okay for James Harden to hop back and take two steps. See, we've been bamboozled, y'all. James Harden is Euro-stepping backwards. Think about it. Next time you see the homie James Harden do it, 
I'm not saying because he's my favorite player. I'm not saying because he's my man. I'm just saying. If it's okay for Dwayne Wade to grab the ball off the ground, hop, then take two wide steps and lay it up, why it ain't okay for James Harden to take it through his legs a couple of times, bounce it, hop back, and then take two steps and shoot? That's all I'm saying. That's what it is. Y'all can hate that man if y'all want. I don't care. Like my man Milk D. He get the paper so he don't care. And then stop with all this herky-jerky. Look, man, that's called game. That's called gamesmanship. That dude is killing. Oh, if it wasn't for free throws, James Harden wouldn't be scoring as much. Hey, y'all, the last time somebody was scoring this much was one Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the modern game, in modern history, right? Not a problem. Don't have no problem with nobody feeling that way. I feel that way, too. Well, he said, I, you know, I know how I feel about Kareem and Magic, but then it's Mike. But I'm going to give y'all Michael Jordan. I'm not a Houston fan. But I hate it when people, when they criticize that move, you are so right. Thank you, Ray to Kev, and he Ray to Nation. Y'all know I got to mess with Kev. I'm sending up, get up to me, Ray to Kev. We ain't losing Ty Seal and Black till we die. Y'all know how it is. But, but back to James Harden, man. Y'all killing the man. Oh, Michael Jordan, uh, 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 uh. Michael Jordan average 11.8 rebound, I mean, uh, free throws per game. James Harden. 11.8 free throws per game. I ain't trying to hit. Oh, if it wasn't for the threes, he wouldn't be winning. He hitting them. So if they was twos, he'll still be hitting them. See, so go ahead on with that nonsense. This dude is killing. Y'all can let these people on these networks trick y'all into believing James Harden is not a phenomenon and you're going to be a damn fool. Look, again, I'm going to say this until I die. Chief Rocket Jersey firm. Clutch conversation. Ben, Chris from uh, uh, Team Broadcasting, Ninja, uh, 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 that bad DJ, DJ Knox, uh, 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 the greatest. And any, and if I forgot you, I'm sorry. I pre I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm speedballing right now. But listen to our shows. These are opinions from people who look like you, who love the games that you love, and we don't have a dog in the fight. ESPN and Fox Sport Net have a dog in the fight. Why do you think ESPN don't promote college basketball the way they used to? Because ABC don't have college basketball no more. And no games are being broadcasted on ABC no more because it don't benefit them. College basketball ain't fell off ever. It's always good. Watch, hey, I challenge you to go to Fox Sport Net and watch one of them uh, late night uh, uh, Pac-10 games. You're going to be wildly entertained. But ESPN is not going to tell you that. You know why? Because they don't have the, 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 the late night contracts anymore. ESPN ain't promoting the tournament because they ain't they, they can't make no money off of it. The same way with boxing. Oh, boxing is, is finished. It's MMA. It's MMA. How the hell is boxing finishing for the last 10 years Floyd Mayweather been the number one uh, paid athlete in, in the world? Because it ain't finished. Because ESPN don't have no rights to boxing. But guess what? DS3, he ain't got no rights to nothing. He's just going to give you the real. Chief Rocker don't have no rights to nothing. H-Rap, no rights to nothing. Mo Cheese, the microwave. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, uh, J, uh, not J Fish, uh, uh, F Homeboy Fishing. They, we, we telling you what we see. See, we ain't, we ain't trying to get no... Well, you know, I ain't going to lie and say we ain't trying to blow up. We trying to blow the hell up. But... We don't have a dog in the fight. We're going to give you our honest opinions. we got the chat room open so you can either agree, disagree. You can call anytime you want. Please miss me with that. Don't. The banana in the tailpipe is old. The banana brown now. Stop falling for it. Stop falling for it. James Harden is an outstanding basketball player. I'm not speaking from a fan perspective. I'm speaking from a fan of the game perspective. I like competitive athletics I did I would hey I even learned uh 10 years ago or not a little more than 10 years ago yeah yeah it might have been my mom been dead nine years so I'm gonna say 11 years ago I was watching the Olympics and that's how I got into hockey I like competition now I'm into soccer I honestly believe we need to start promoting soccer in our communities I'm so glad when Atlanta won that championship because Atlanta the brownest town in America man it's Nubian it's the Nubian nation down there man but, but I don't want to get off onto a racial tangent. I'm just saying, man, 
we have to start diversifying our, our, our uh, uh, attention and putting it in different pockets.